Getting a lot of questions. Mike, how do I create a demand for my services at a time like this? Well, I think it's important to have a demand for your services at any time, whether it's you know during times of prosperity or where there's a downturn, but undoubtedly, yes, it is, it is proving to be more difficult to, uh, to have demand for services for, for many businesses um, all around the country and really all around the world, especially during COVID. But, but I do want to answer this because you have to think, first and foremost, how do you create demand? Well, who do people buy from? That, that's the first question. Uh, the answer to that is people typically buy from those that they know, like, and trust. So I'll give you an example in the sense that you know, if you build trust, you create demand. Apple doesn't call you and ask if you want AirPods. You just want AirPods. Why do you want them? Well, because they build a brand and then people want to buy their stuff. Their brand builds trust. And then as a result of having that trust, people want to buy from them. So you're probably asking, okay, well, great. How do I build trust? Well, I'll come back to the fact of the build your brand. And I'll give you a couple examples of this. When certain banks maxed out of the PPP loans and prioritized larger corporations over small businesses, they aren't building trust. That actually create, gives people reasons to perhaps consider moving to another bank, a smaller bank, you know, what have you. When Allstate decides to give back over $600 million in insurance premiums because people aren't on the road as much uh, as a result of COVID, they're building trust. When you step up and support your community, you're building trust. Uh, when you look out for the well-being of your clients and call every single one of them and let them know that you're here to help them and support them, you're building trust. When you provide stability and security to your team, you're building trust. And when you put out valuable content that's engaging to your audience, that helps them, that's educational, that's beneficial, you're building trust. So, you know, this is a way to really think about things. Are the are the is the content you're putting out, is the messaging you're putting out, you know, brands exist and your brand exists, whether it's by default or by design. And is that a brand that you're proud of? Is that properly articulate and that probably depict who your business is? And, you know, branding and content is always right. Because when you do this correctly, you're not asking for the sale, you're creating demand. And by having that trust that you establish through building a brand, through putting out great content, by being present, by staying relevant, by continuing to communicate, you know, you know continuous communication builds trust. A lack of communication hurts trust. So not only being present on the mediums where your clients spend their time, let's say it's on social media, let's say it's sending them emails, let's say it's hosting dial-ins, creating a podcast, sending out your newsletter, you know, whatever that might be, you know, those types of things keep you in the conversation and ultimately increase communication, which builds trust. So finally, you know, just to wrap this up, uh, if you are struggling with demand for your services right now, if in really any time, but especially now, is a great time to focus first and foremost on building trust because when you've got that, you also have demand.